Man, if God has done something for you, you certainly ought not mind saying amen and just giving God some praise. And, and when I look at everyone here today, I can already tell you've been blessed. Amen. God has blessed us in a tremendous way. Amen. Praise God. In the ninth chapter of the Gospel of John, the ninth chapter, I believe this is your theme scripture for the annual Ursus Day. The scripture I was given, the ninth chapter of the Gospel of John, and verse number four, and I'm going to add five, four and five. Amen. amen. Y'all say amen when you find it. God is a good God. It reads as followed. I must work the work of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. You may be seated. Tell your neighbor, preacher's going to talk about for just a few moments, working while it's day. Have I got a witness? Shame to say, but not all of the people that come into the fellowship of God, they are qualified to work for Christ. Everybody that comes into the church, there are some who are not qualified, amen, to work for Christ. Why? I'm glad you asked me the question. <laughs> Is because you must be born again in order to be a worker for Christ. Have I got a witness? Whether you be the preacher, deacon, choir member, usher, whatever, you've got to be born again. You must have the love of God in your heart. Have I got a witness? And, and, and truthfully, you cannot serve God if you don't know him. <laughs> In order to have some amens right there, you got to know him. Amen, amen. You can't sing in the choir and don't know him. You can't usher on the usher board and don't know him. Have I got a witness? So today is the annual Ursha's Day celebration. And I will say to the Ursha's, work while it's day. Thank God it's not here. And thank God it's not the Tridestone Church. But have you ever went to a church and the Urshas have met you at the door, and you said to yourself, my God. <laughs> Somebody help me here. Where is the words you are welcome? Amen. Come on in, have a seat. Amen. Amen. The Urshas, pastor just said a while ago, are to meet and greet. And, 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 and the Urshas can indicate to a person whether that person might come back again. Yeah. Have I got witness? Yeah. I've, I've, I've went to some churches and the ushers, it seemed that they were drinking lemon juice <laughs> before I got there. It was no smile, no welcome. Yeah, go on over there and have a seat. Find your seat. <laughs> have I got a witness? But, but the, scripture, the scripture focus is John 9 and 4. And it says, I must work the work of him that sent me while it's day. Because the night will come. And then he says in the word, no man can work when the night cometh. When, when Jesus said this to us, I must work. He was saying that there should be no substitute for I and for you. Have I got a witness? 
Mom and daddy can't work for you. Brother and sister cannot work for you. Amen. But he says that we must work. Amen. We, I, you, me, I. We must work while it's day. Have I got a witness? Work for Christ. Because uh, the, 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 the work of Christ is not just on Sunday mornings. Amen. Have I got a witness? Some folk get, up on, get geared up on Saturday nights for the work of Christ. But the work of Christ is every day. Look at your neighbor and tell him it's every day. Every day. Amen. Not just on Sunday mornings. In, in, in the book of John uh, 9, 4, and 5, but, 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 but I guess we need to look back maybe at John 1. Uh, 1. Jesus was saying to his disciples, they, they, they had come to Jesus and they had a question on their minds and, and, and they said, uh, who sinned? Did this blind man sin? Did his mother or father sin? Why is he blind? Have I got a witness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, 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 but Jesus was really saying to them, you are asking me the wrong question. Right. Have I got a witness? In, in other words, Jesus was saying, saying to them, you are looking for someone to blame. But there's no one to blame. For this man born blind, have I got a witness? It wasn't because of, of sin. Have I got a witness? Have I got a witness? But, but, but then he goes on to say, but what I would like for you to do is to look at what God can do through his blindness. Amen. God is able. Have I got a witness? And, 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 and then he says after that, what I want you to do after that is go and work while it's day. Have I got a witness? Be because when the night cometh, no man can work. Have I got a witness? But, but then Jesus even, he comes, he comes back with better news. He says, but as long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. Have I got a witness? Amen. So, so, so Jesus is the light of the world. Then he says, well, if you are a follower of Christ, then you ought to work while it's day. Have I got a witness? The preacher should not, the pastor should not have to beg you to work. Have I got a witness? Because it's your responsibility. If you are a child of God, it's your responsibility to work for Christ while it's day. Have I got a witness? Well, the day, it, it means to us in a physical term, it means our lifespan. Some folk live 20, 30, 40, 50, 75 years. Uh, the, all the day of, days of your life, you ought to work before the nightfall come. For the night will come. Don't you fool yourself. The night will come. So this is why... Jesus says that it's so important for us to work while it's day. Have I got a witness? Right. And, and when the night come, he says that is the time that no man can work. Have I got a witness? Because it, re it really refers to the end of our life, the end of our lifespan. Have I got a witness? When the night comes, it's all over. All right. Have I got a witness? So, so, so he makes it clear that we ought to work while it's day. Have I got a witness? When I, you know, I must, I must compliment this brother over here in the wheelchair. I must compliment him. Amen. A lot of folk would use that as a, uh, uh, you know, they would say, well, I'm handicapped. I can't go. I can't do. I can't, I can't do. But, but he's serving God while it's day. Yeah. Have I got a witness? Yeah. God wants us to serve him. Don't look at your physical ability. Amen. But, but look at your spiritual ability. Serve God with the gladness of your heart. Jesus, he comes back with good news in verse number five. He says, as long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. Have I got a witness? That's why one day when the sun went and hid 
himself from the physical world and said, if there be no Jesus, the son, the S-O-N, then I, the S-U-N, will not shine upon the face of the earth. Have I got a witness? But I will hide my light from the face of the earth. That's why when Jesus went to the cross and died one day, darkness came upon the earth. Have I got a witness? Son said, well, if it be no Jesus, I'm not going to shine. Have I got a witness? So Jesus is the light of the world. CPS can light your home, but it takes Christ to light your life. Right. Have I got a witness? And, and, and a lot of folk get it mixed up. They get it mixed up. Have I got a witness? Jesus, he spat on the ground and made clay. And then he anointed the eyes of the blind man. And then he told him, just go and wash. The blind man was obedient. Y'all say obedient. Right. You've got to be obedient to Jesus when he speaks. He was obedient to Jesus, and he went and washed, and he came back a new man. Have I got a witness? Well, that's what happened when we meet Jesus. Amen. There is a change in our lives. We are not that old person that we used to be. We are a new person in Christ. When we meet Jesus, have I got a witness? We become a new person because Jesus has changed our lives for the better. Have I got a witness? Y'all want to pray with me here. The blind man left and he told everybody that he met that, that Jesus changed his life. Have I got a witness? No wonder the songwriter said that I'm almost through. I'm almost through. No wonder the songwriter said, what a friend we have in Jesus. Yeah. Have I got a witness? Yeah. All of our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Yeah. Oh God, y'all ought to help me here. Yeah. Are you going to carry everything? Yeah. Amen. A lot of times we try to carry some of the load, but, but when you carry it, to God in prayer. God is able to answer your prayer. The blind man went, went on down the road and said, well, I met Jesus one day. And he said, my hope is built on nothing less than the blood of Jesus the Christ. Have I got a witness? He's all right. Then he went on down the road and he said, well, on Christ the solid rock I stand. All on the ground is a sinking sand. The blind man, he told the story and he said, well, it's no secret what God can do. Oh, I wish I had somebody here. What he's done for others, God will do it for you. Well, with his arms wide open, he will pardon you. But all this go back to old rugged cross. I thank God for the cross. Yeah. Somebody said it was at the cross. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It was at the cross where we had an invitation one day to come and receive hope in the, in the midst of our despair. And I'm so glad those few fellas, we thought, we thought, we thought, we thought it was a dark time, but, but it turned around to be in our favor. Those fellas took Jesus to the cross and, and they nailed him to an old rugged cross. But they made a tragic mistake. They made a tragic mistake. Somebody said, why don't you, why don't you just lift him up? So, 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 so they said, well, lift him up. They lifted Jesus up and, and, and Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. In the all right. My grandma used to say he's a rose of Sharon, bright and morning star. 
He's a wheel in the middle of a wheel. He's a battle axe in time of war. Do you know him? He's all right. Do you know he's all right? He's bread when you're hungry. He's water when you're thirsty. But the only thing you need to do, church, is just lift him. I wish I had some folk here today. Just lift him. Is it anybody here that want to lift him up? He's all right. Do you know he's all right? Lift him. Lift him up. Lift him until he speak. Lift him until he say, I'll draw. I'll draw. I'll draw all men unto me. In the all right. All right. All right. Do you know it's all right? Do you know it's all right? Just wave your hands and say, he woke me up early this morning and started me on my way. He's all. Lord have mercy. I said, it's all right. All right. Do you know it's all right? All right. Do you know it's all right? He picked me up and, and turned me around and placed my feet on solid ground. All right. Do you know it's all right? He, he will. Surely he will. He will. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? He'll turn your bad situation around. Won't he do it? He's all right. All 